A warning tonight about a new wave of COVID-19 cases in Springfield, this time among the young and unvaccinated. Springfield city officials say 10 police officers in that category are out with the virus. Western Mass News reporter Audrey Russo digging deeper. She joins us live in Springfield with more. Audrey. Police Commissioner Cheryl Claproot says she is encouraging all of her officers to get the COVID-19 vaccine, but she does confirm that the 10 officers who are out did not have the shot. Local health care officials say the average age for a person hospitalized with COVID-19 is going down and that young people are increasingly getting sick enough to require medical attention. There is a numerical increase of young people now in these last couple of weeks. Springfield City Health officials say the young and the unvaccinated make up the bulk of this surge. We also could be potentially seeing an uptick uh, from St. Patrick's Day and opening up the Commonwealth as well as the nation. The Springfield City Police Department is down 10 officers due to COVID-19. They are young women and men uh, employees of the Springfield Police Department who chose not to get vaccinated. And from what I can tell, they're, they caught COVID not from work environment, but rather from the home environment. Those under the age of 60 are not yet eligible for the vaccine, but police officers have been able to get the shot since phase one of the state's rollout plan. Western Mass News asked Commissioner Cheryl Claprood roughly what percentage of the department is still unvaccinated. 120 to 130 members of the department actually were positive for COVID. So a lot of them were waiting for the 90 days to get the, the vaccination. Um, and I think I had about a 50% participation in the vaccination um, process for those of us that never had COVID. In addition, Claproot says a recruit in the training academy has also tested positive, requiring a retesting of the class and possibly jeopardizing their upcoming graduation ceremony. Claproot says she will not penalize those who choose not to get vaccinated. I know there's reasons out there why people don't want to be vaccinated, but we certainly are encouraging it. And while the department has gone back to two-person cars, Claproot says she's still encouraging mask wearing. We're still doing all the proper precautions and we will continue to do so. Clapper tells me that having 10 officers out is not enough to put her department behind. She says she'd have to be down 25 to 30 officers for the department to really start feeling the absences. And that's important because right now, she says, the city police department is fighting back against what she calls successive instances of retaliatory gang violence. Live in Springfield, Audrey Russo for Western Mass News.